Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV Any Comey video. So, there, there's a new team. There, there's new members on the team, at least, that's starting to push VV in a different direction. So, let's see if the thoughts and criticisms continue to fall on deaf ears. It seems like they've been listening. It seems like they're hearing people out. So, I actually have a thought and an idea on something that could potentially be very profitable for the holders of VV Collectibles still. And it's based around the future of um, what I think gaming is going, gaming and, and crypto and all of it. Um, that being said, if, if, you, if you don't know, this is actually the game off the grid. It's a crypto game. This is the level that gaming is in crypto now. Outside of the world of VV, this is what companies have actually been building. And I don't see VV actually being able to compete with this or build anything as entertaining as this or, or keep attention like games like this will. And this is just one game. This isn't even really a metaverse. It's just a game. Um, so VV, what VV promised was to have a whole metaverse and have games like this. Like, so this would just be a, a small part of VV. I don't even think VV can get the metaverse down. And the, the metaverse is the big undertaking. The games are supposed to be the small thing in comparison to what the metaverse was supposed to be. So that's what we was promised, Batman scale and wall, stuff like that. I don't believe that we see that anytime soon. I think that it's extremely expensive to have all this IP. It's and then you have to keep the licensors happy. So VV Comics sometimes have to come out and and like like the the platform itself. They have to do things to keep the licensors happy and keep the the um you know stay in the good graces of all the um IP holders. And they don't care about VV creating a metaverse. But honestly, VV doesn't have to because what I believe the future of gaming is, I believe it's going to be in NFTs. I don't see a reason for any game to be using skins or using items at all in the future, and they, they're not NFTs. So, because Vivi already has these NFTs, it only makes sense to, if the companies, if they could secure a deal with these companies and secure a deal with some games to have Vivi's NFTs be linked to, to the, um you know, to actually owning, you know, owning skins and stuff within video games. So let's take it, let's say Fortnite, for example. Instead of Fortnite going the old school route and getting licensing through, um getting licensing through maybe um Disney themselves, they could go through Vivi and get licensing through Vivi using NFTs. And obviously the, the kickback still goes towards the Disney because the value of the NFTs now goes up because the NFTs have utility. So you get this one-time payment, or I don't, I actually don't even know how payments work when it comes down to gaming, but make it make sense where you pay for the NFT to be more, because people will constantly buy the NFT. You'll be able to buy the NFT, sell the NF NFT, and you'll be getting way more money off of constant transactions because when people get tired of a skin, they'll sell the NFT, and now someone else is using the skin. Then they'll sell that, and it's like, you'll be making money on these skins and stuff forever as opposed to these one-time payment or a big payment every month. You could have, you're gonna be getting payments every single day, you know? And you make enough content, enough people buy the, the content, it could be, it could equal far more than a one-time payment that, that Fortnite or Epic Games is gonna be willing to pay Disney. So if Vivi can be the company to secure the deal to say, you know what, let us be the middleman. Let our NFTs go into these metaverses. Let us, you know, let us secure these deals with these companies, get these NFTs, get some utility tied to these NFTs. If Vivi is the one who can do that, where, oh, if I hold the, the Darth Vader, if I hold the Darth Vader um, NFT on Vivi, it comes with a Vivi version of a Darth Vader skin in Fortnite. And, oh, it comes with a, uh, uh, if I hold the, you know, what, if I hold the Mickey Mouse, I can get a Mickey Mouse skin in Call of Duty, or, or I can get a Mickey Mouse skin in Apex Legends, or something like that. Like any game where VV can just go around and secure partnerships with games, as many games as possible, and move games, triple A games, into the NFT space. With VV being the middleman where everybody goes to VV for NFTs, like NFT utility. This way, they can constantly slowly bring on utility where, okay. Let's take put the Star Wars collection. Do do the Star Wars collection through VV. So the 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 value of the Star Wars collectibles go up. And you know, like 
because Vivi, I don't, I don't think that Disney would want to, you know, devalue their own, their own NFTs. I think that Vivi will, I mean, I think that Disney will have their own NFTs and, and will be doing things themselves, but that doesn't mean that Vivi can't create, it takes nothing out of, out of Disney's pocket for Vivi to create some skins or to create some things or some in-game items and attach them to their, you know, attach them to the NFTs and allow that to be used in AAA games if the infrastructure is there. So I, I, I could see a future where Vivi is actually, you know, Vivi is actually dominating this space where any game that has skins or has partnership with a licensor or IP or something like that, Vivi could be the middleman where they all have to go through. Vivi is already positioned very nicely for that. They have the most IP. If they can continue securing those deals, as the space starts to shift towards the need for NFTs, Vivi already has the NFTs. Now, this obviously takes a focus more so away from building out the Vivi verse because listen, they can build the Vverse out, but it taking forever. It won't really matter if they prioritize securing deals like this because that gets the UF that that gets the NFT utilities that we need. Like we we need we need utility. Utility is king. Like regardless of what people want to push this narrative, oh narrative this narrative that. Utility is king. The NFTs was created because they can they can have utility. Now the digital collecting side of things where they don't have to do nothing. That is old school. When with the invention of a computer, like how hard is it to control your children? If you have children, how hard is it to, to keep your child, you know, focused on one thing? Like they probably have different interests very frequently, right? It's like a new game comes out. They want the new game. A, a new pair of shoes come out. They want the new pair of shoes. A new toy comes out. They want the new toy. They're constantly switching and changing things. And now there's so many video games that do so much stuff. It's a lot going on these days that it's not just enough anymore for something to do nothing. And then you got all these old, these older school people. And I get it. Like I get, I know how you grew up. I know the nostalgia. I know why you invest. I know why you like VV, but you have to understand the future is not that. Like that's an old relic that you gotta, you, I don't mean you don't gotta let go of it, but you have to prepare for the future. Like, what we have in Vivi is all about the future, which means you can't be delusional as to what the future is going to be. You can't be delusional because then you'll miss out on opportunity because you're sitting here trying to, okay, Pokemon cards didn't need utility. Okay, comics didn't need utility. They just sit on the shelf right behind me. It's like, move into the new age and understand that when you grew up, there wasn't TikTok scrolling. You wouldn't seeing half naked chicks on on Instagram if you open up the Instagram out app. You wasn't see. It's so much stuff to stimulate your mind and distract your attention these days. You didn't have OnlyFans that you could sneak and steal your parents' credit card and and get on OnlyFans. You had to go under the bed or in the closet and grab the magazines. Like it was just a different time, bro. It, it was it was a completely different time. So. If you're still thinking in terms of what was and you're not factoring in the fact that we got TikTok, YouTube, um, Instagram, all these other platforms, all these different stimulants, you're going to think that, oh, it's okay for something to come out that does nothing. But this is the quality of games that's out here in the space now. And metaverses is gonna be huge. GTA 6 is more than likely gonna be a metaverse that in, that um, incorporates crypto, more than likely. Um, that, that's what that's what they're saying. That's what the, that's what the rumor is. It may not. Who knows if it's going to actually incorporate crypto? But GTA is the if it does, GTA is the level of the metaverse that you're going to be competing with, and that's insane. That's an insane standard to try to you know compete against. So that being said, man, you have to look towards the future and suggest things that puts VV. That maybe it's still going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take some work and effort, but it puts Vivi in the position to be to really be future proof. Having oh the first NFT, I have the first NFT ever released on a blockchain. Who's going to give a shit about that when every single other NFT that exists in the future is going to have different types of utility? You buy you buy an item in this game, it comes with utility. Like you start buying stuff other places, it, it comes with utility already. So who's going to actually care? No one is going to care about that. So don't let these influencers like who who's who who needs things to pump like if y'all keep being in this desperate like 
being in this desperate mindset, this desperate mode where, oh no, what we have right now has to work. If y'all stay there, that is what's gonna make things fail. If you wake up to reality and be like, oh, we need more, BV is positioned to give more, they just have to think of it, they have to do it and implement it and understand the importance of it, then you can actually suggest things that's going to push your investment forward. Not sit here and pray and hope that people wanna hold something that does nothing because when you was growing up, it wasn't that much to do, so collecting random stuff and just looking at it and letting it sit there felt good. And it may still feel good. It may remind you of when you was a kid or when you was a, a teen or whatever, whatever age you were when you started collecting, it may take you back to those times. But we live in a new time now. Every single thing these kids do, it's, it's, it's multiple stimulants, multiple different distractions and all type of things in this current world that these kids are growing up in, which means they are going to need more. It's just that simple. So you can't sit here with the same old argument that, oh, it's guaranteed this narrative is gonna blow things up because I like things that do nothing. We're living in a new time, bro. We're living in a completely new time. And even if the influencers aren't out here pushing this narrative, and I believe that it's it's manipulation. I Like, it's just my personal opinion. I think that these guys know better and they're lying. But even if they're just delusional to the fact and, and not really, and they're down so bad that they can't see the reality that, the world is moving on without Vivi. If they can't see the reality, you have to understand that it, it the world is. But there is, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is positive things that can be changed. The same way that we were saying years ago, certain things needed to be done. We needed communication or things were going to fall. It starts here and it starts now. Everybody can attack criticism, can attack ideas and can be against it, or you can say, you know what, the way he said that, it might not work that well like that, but how can I fix that? Because it is some truth in it, let me twist it around, remix it, and then this would be a better idea to pitch them. I don't, I'm not saying my ideas is perfect. I'm not saying that what what I'm saying is, is you know, the gospel, this is exactly what we need to do 100%. I think this is a good idea. And if you think it's a good idea, you can give this to them. If you think you got a better idea and you want to piggyback off of this or you got something completely different in mind, what I'm saying is the conversations need to be had because we see what happens to Vivi when the conversations are not had. Have the conversations that matter. That's my whole point. But yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Let me know your opinions. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.